2004 Ford Explorer. Symptoms are hesitation on acceleration, rough idle. Looking at trouble codes on this vehicle, we have a check engine light on, so we're starting with codes. And the only code I see in memory right now is this uh, P0506, idle system RPM below expected. And then of course we have the dreaded P1000 code. For me it's dreaded because that means somebody was here, cleared the trouble codes out of this vehicle, and so I don't have all the information that I need and want. So keep that in mind as we keep filming here that this, this was cleared, somebody was here before us, and we're gonna address this idle air control issue, this 506, next. All right, just to give you guys a shot of the engine, so you know what we're dealing with. It's a 4.0 engine, and it is an electronic throttle control system. So uh, basically drive-by wire is what, what people call it. And right behind that oil cap there is, uh, let me move over so you can see it a little bit better, is your throttle body unit. So no throttle cable. That little electric motor right there, pointed out right here in the picture, controls all of your throttle angle, all of your idle controls, uh, there is no idle air control motor on this engine. It's all done by that guy. Um, so symptoms again were hesitation and uh, a little bit of roughness at idle. We feel it, it, it it's slightly rough, but not real bad. Uh, let me show you what the scan data looks like. All right, I pulled up some data that I think is relevant to this trouble code of an idle control error. And what we're looking at is our our ETC data, that's electronic throttle control. And what this one is, is the actual degrees of throttle opening. This is the desired degrees of throttle opening. And uh, looking at RPM up top and the desired RPM. The only thing I really notice here is the RPM is a little bit lower than the desired. Um, putting all that aside for a second, because every system's different and I don't know what what the proper numbers would be for throttle angle in this particular vehicle right now. I haven't done my homework on that yet. But I am looking at my fuel trim numbers. And one of the things that you'll have with drive-by wire systems or any idle control error trouble code would be lean conditions, vacuum leaks, things like that that can affect the idle speed. And so I pulled up the fuel trim data and, and we're just gonna focus on that right now. Um, looking at my long term, on both banks, you can see that we're at 20% basically on both banks at idle. And so what that leads us to believe is we have a lean condition going on on this car. And so what I want to show, first of all, is how to identify what type of lean condition you're dealing with. And it's as simple as changing your RPM and seeing if your fuel trim numbers get better or get worse with a higher RPM. So can you go ahead and raise that up to about two grand for me? You see an improvement, my numbers are at 14, 14, 13 on both banks. Go just a little bit higher. And you saw as the RPMs increased that our fuel trim numbers came down. And uh, that's a, a red flag when you see high fuel trim numbers at idle that improve with higher RPM. This will be in uh, section four of my book I have listed under advanced fuel trim diagnosis. But what we know by this is this vehicle most likely has a vacuum leak. And now a vehicle with a vacuum leak is going to have idle control error trouble codes. I don't believe we have an idle control issue at all. I believe we have a vacuum leak that's affecting the idle speed control of this vehicle. And also, that kind of raises a question, why did this car not have a lean exhaust trouble code? And the answer is, it may have had a lean exhaust trouble code, but somebody cleared the codes and we lost that data. And the only one that came back so far was an idle speed control error issue. So we're gonna shift gears away from the idle idle speed control, which is all done by the electronic throttle body, 
but we're gonna look for a vacuum leak on this engine next. All right, just a quick review of what we what we found on this is uh, hesitation problems, rough idle complaints, check engine lights on, idle speed control error trouble codes, P1000 means the memory was wiped out so we didn't get any lean exhaust trouble codes yet. I am sure they would come back with those positive 20% fuel trim numbers. Those fuel trim numbers got better with higher RPM, so that put us in the direction of a vacuum leak problem, not a low fuel pressure problem, not a dirty mass airflow. In those circumstances, your fuel trim numbers would get worse with higher RPMs. These ones got better, so we looked towards a vacuum leak. We found one, two of them actually, EGR valve itself, and the bottom corner of the intake manifold. That intake manifold is more of a concern to me than the EGR, but it's gonna need them both. And I'm confident that after this intake's removed, the gasket's replaced, change the EGR valve, we will get these fuel trim numbers back to normal. Whether or not we fix the other complaints of a hesitation on acceleration is to be determined, but certainly to fix this lean condition, that's what needs to be done. So that's reviewing using fuel trims to your advantage giving you some direction, raise your RPM, see if it gets better, see if it gets worse, and that's it, vacuum leak.